Hey there, I'm your host Lasawi, and in today's video, I'll show you how to create an enemy health bar. So whenever you step in range, it's going to show up on your screen. And once again, when you step out of range, it's going to disappear. So let's begin. Open up your project and let's go to the content drawer. Over here, we want to create a new folder. And inside this, we will have our NPC and our widget. So our health bar. I'll call this NPC. Then once inside, let's create a new blueprint class. And this will be my AI. So I'll select character. I'll call this BP underscore NPC. Then once inside, let's go to our viewport and select the mesh. Select whatever character you want. I'll select Brady because that's what I have. And then for the anim class, I want this to be my animation blueprint. Then for location, it's a bit uh, high. So let's do minus 90 and also minus 90 for the rotation. Once I'm happy, let's also select uh, the capsule here and let's add a collision sphere. So search for collision, sphere collision. There we go. I'll call this health or yeah, health radius. This will simply determine when the health is visible once we're inside the range. So for the sphere radius, I'll say a thousand. I think that's generous. And okay, then let's compile a save. We want to create our widget. So back to the content drawer, right click, go to user interface, widget blueprint, user widget, and I'll call it WB for widget blueprint, NPC underscore health. And over here, Let's add a canvas panel, just like so. And on top of this canvas panel, I'm going to have a progress bar. So add that into the canvas panel. I will center align this guy, just like so. And over here, let's make the minus 50 to be dead in the center. And then for my color, if I drag the percentage, we can see it's blue. And let's give it a red color. So I actually have a red color saved. So I can just select this and hit OK. Then for my style, if I go to the background image in the tint, I can select this again and make it a bit darker, just like so, looking good, okay. So then let's close this down, go to the percent and select a binding, create binding. And over here, what you wanna do, create a new variable, call this health. And of course you can change this to be an integer or a float. I simply just prefer floats. So I'll do that, I'll get it. And then let's do a divide. And from here, just select how much health you want. I want this to be maybe 100. Uh, that's a reasonable value. Plug this into the return and simply compile a save. And you can exit this now. So back inside of our character, of our NPC in the viewport, let's add a widget. And this will be our health widget we just created. So I'll call this health bar to remember and inside the widget class select your widget so search for it there we go then also um let's drag it up here first i'll also tell you that if you leave this on world you'll have it only from one perspective so just to show you how this will look like if i put my npc maybe you want this uh usually you don't really but you see what I mean? So if you hit play, you'll just see it from this one perspective. And if you go around, you won't see it. So to change this, what we can do, we can make this screen. Now you won't see it here, but it actually will be on the screen. Um, also, another thing I'd like to do, let's make this invisible. So go down and take this off. Otherwise, uh, it'll always be visible. We only want this to be visible once we're in range. So compile this. Go back into the event graph. We can delete those guys here. Event begin play. Drag and cast to the health widget you created. So that's mine over here. Then object. Uh, drag and say get user object. Uh, user widget object. And then it'll be the health bar. So put this into here. Just like so. Then promote this to a variable. And call this health bar ref. Just like so. Then from here, let's drag and say set health. And the health we want, we can just set it here or we can create a variable. I'll call this health. And of course, it's going to be a float. So once you compile this, you'll be able to set the value. So let's compile over here. I'll say 100 and then simply get it just like so and plug it in. 
So one thing remaining. Let's go to the health radius, which is our collisions here. Right click, go to the event, add on component, begin overlap, and same with the end overlap. So from here, cast to your character. So for me, it's going to be Brady. Cast to Brady. And then what you want to do, hit this again. And we want our health bar. So this, that's my widget. Then say set visibility. And we can copy and paste this guy. And this will be true when we are inside of the sphere. And this will be set false when we are not inside of the sphere. So with all that said, um, I think that's us pretty, uh, pretty much done. So let's compile, save. And if I go to play, we can see the health bar is visible. And once we're out of range, it's no longer visible. So that's working for us. In the next video, I'll show you how to interact with this health bar. So guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.